right now I have one task as GS, to work hard every day with a team here, with a team, and I need the support of all the people in here to, to make the party stronger, more attractive to people, more focus on national development, a party that gives young people hope that they can come in here and through merits rise to the top, right to the top of the party and into government too. Added to this, he says he also plans to showcase the depth of his party during his term as general secretary, noting the experienced leaders and the large number of professionals who sometimes are unseen. This will include more grassroots work and the strengthening of the party, while at the same time decentralizing the party, which will give more autonomy to the regions, points Jagyo raised during his presentation at Congress last month. Regarding the incumbent and his decision to sit out the election, Mr. Jagyo said, Mr. Rohi must be thanked for the valuable contribution he made to the party. Clement Rohi opted not to run in Saturday's election and instead nominated and backed a younger candidate, Dr. Frank Anthony. Dr. Anthony, in the race for general secretary, would have reportedly secured 11 of the 35 votes needed to win the post. Because I believe that he's young, he has a freshness about him, he got the second highest votes at the Congress, he's a young professional, and therefore, in my view, I thought that it would be better for me as an older person to step aside and give a younger person an opportunity to be the general secretary of the party. Meantime, in response to questions about him returning as the party's presidential candidate for the 2020 polls, Chagdio says there is no candidate at this time, but when the time comes, the party will choose the best person, and he has faith that the PPP would achieve victory at that time. Delisha Fletcher. Newsroom.